Hey guys, welcome back to the Ren family. I'm super excited to be filming today's video. This is my first official video for this Halloween fall season. My favorite holiday. You guys already know I love everything about Halloween. So I'm super excited to be filming this. I have a haul for you guys. I have a lot of like home decor Halloween goodies. I don't ever really decorate for fall. I kind of just decorate more geared towards Halloween because it's just my favorite so I always decorate for Halloween first and then once Halloween is over I kind of take away like all of the spooky decor and stuff and then I'll leave out like a few um, like fall themed decor like pumpkins and stuff like that until Thanksgiving is over and then I'll decorate for Christmas so that's kind of how I decorate my house so mostly I do Halloween themed stuff so I have a lot of goodies to share with you guys as always links will be down below in the description and then after my haul I will actually be decorating my house so you guys can grab like a snack some coffee whatever it is I'll play some Halloween themed music while I'm decorating and we'll just get into all of the fun stuff so the first thing that I picked up from Target I think everything that I have to share is from Target there's stuff it's so good this year so I kind of went crazy I bought a lot the thing that I always get every single year is their throw blankets I believe they're around like ten dollars and the quality is so good they're soft they keep you warm they're just super cozy so I always pick these up Layla actually picked this one out it says trick-or-treat and then it has a bunch of candy on it I also grabbed one for Rory, but they didn't have it like in store. Next thing that I have are some candles. I got two different candles. They are like the same vibe, but they're different scents. So this one is in this really pretty like mauve pinkish color. I think this one will look super cute in the girls room because they have a lot of like pink tones in there. So that's where I'm going to put this one. This is in the scent apple cider donut. First of all, how cute is it? It's shaped like a pumpkin. They smell so good. It is a two wick candle and it's really decent size too. I think these were, yeah, these were $10. And then the other one that I got, I think I'm going to put this either in my living room or um, my bathroom. I'm not too sure yet, but this one is going to be just somewhere around the house. This one is vanilla pumpkin. Oh, it smells so good pumpkin and like cinnamon scents are my all-time favorite so these are just right up my alley again it's a two wick candle so i got those two next thing that i grabbed is this little pumpkin dish it's just a cream color i'm not sure what i'm going to put in it yet but i'll probably have this on my entryway table maybe i'll throw like our car keys in there or something like that I'm not too sure yet, but you guys will see everything at the end of this video when I'm decorating my house, how it turns out. This was, I'm not sure how much this was, but this is labeled as a candy dish, but we do have a dog now, so I don't want to have like candy just laying around in this dish since it is open and there's no lid. Next thing that I grabbed is this amber colored base, and then it has these black leaves all over it. I thought this was super pretty, totally like my home decor vibe but it also is like perfect for halloween because the plant is black so love this so i got a ton of pumpkins i'm literally going to just put these all throughout my house i think i want to mainly either put pumpkins all across my dining table or on our fireplace mantle so i just grabbed a bunch these came in a set too so there's like these little orangish ones there's these ones with the longer stem that are kind of like reddish there's some white ones in here there's like this teal color there's just a ton in here and they're all like different sizes too so there's like really big ones in here there's this giant orange one so there's just a ton of different sizing and these came in a really big pack too but i think i got like three different packs so I just got a ton of pumpkins and I'm just going to go crazy in the house this year, put them all over. And I think these were from the Bullseye uh, Playground, I think is what it's called. The little like dollar section at Target, that's where I grabbed those from. Next thing that I got is this little bat throw pillow. How cute is this? I really want to put this on our couch, but our puppy is going through 
a really bad like biting phase and he has this thing for pillows he's always stealing my pillows off the couch and I really don't want this one to get ruined it is just so cute so I might just throw this on my bed because I just do not want it to get ruined it's just so cute I saw they also had like a pumpkin one and I think a ghost one too, which I really want to grab. But when we went to Target, they didn't have those. This was like the only pillow they had out. Because we kind of went early in September. So they were like just putting out all of the Halloween stuff. So I've been on the hunt for the other ones. But they are just so cute. Next thing that I grabbed is some steaks for our front yard. I still have to pick up a bunch of other things. Benny said... He he wants to keep the front yard like spooky and Target had a lot of like cutesy um, Halloween things and he wants to go spooky this year so I only grabbed these two things so I'm probably going to hit up Spirit Halloween store to grab some spooky decorations but for now I just grabbed these two so they're just yard stakes so these ones are um, skeleton feet and it comes in a two pack these were $10 and then the other ones are like zombie hands and then it has like the bones down here so just some zombie hands and they go like perfect with my shirt right here and if you're wondering too my shirt is from old Navy. super cute has like that old um monster vibe to it next thing that i grabbed from target is a little candle holder i don't see any pricing on this but it is a cream colored skull the only thing that I will say about this though is um, this is really like shallow. So I did buy this candle from Threshold and it does light up. Oh, there's a button right here. So it does light up. So it does fit in here perfect. But again, this is just really shallow. So if you have a big candle like this one, it's just going to stick out like that. For our door, I bought a black floral wreath. So how pretty is that? I love these little pops of purple tones in it. So that is going to go on our front door. Next thing that I grabbed, and this is hands down my favorite thing. If you know me, you know The Nightmare for Christmas is my favorite movie. Absolutely love that movie. So when I saw this at Target, I grabbed it so fast. It was the only one on the shelf. Layla actually pointed it out and she showed it to me and I just grabbed it, threw it in the cart. And I said, yes, I need that. So it is a snow globe. How cute is this? It has Jack inside and then he is like above a tombstone. And then the little things inside are like orange and black perfect for Halloween and then it has the Oogie Boys in front so it has lock, shock, and barrel. So cute. It says every day is Halloween. Mm -hmm. Every day is Halloween in my world. So that's what that looks like. Super cute. Hands down my favorite. The only, only downside I would say to the snow globe is the song. I really would have loved if it played a Nightmare Before Christmas theme song but it doesn't so the last things that I got are some kitchen things so the first thing is a drink sleeve I do not even drink beer at all I just it's not my thing but I thought this was so cute so I couldn't pass it up I figured I can still put like a soda in here or something it's just super cute it's pink it has a ghost on it it says more booze please so cute again I'm not really a beer drinker I think it it's just bleh. it's not my thing but I just thought this was so cute I couldn't pass it up it was only a dollar so I grabbed that and then I grabbed some kitchen towels so these ones were ten dollars it says bon appetit and then it has a skeleton on it and then the other one just has skulls and bones all over it and then this one says bewitching in the kitchen and then it has a witch hat and then this one is just like black and white um buffalo plaid i think is what it's called so i got that so it came in a four pack and then the other ones that i got were five dollars 
I'm not going to be putting these in my kitchen. These are actually going to go in the playroom for the girls' play kitchen. I always buy them seasonal towels just so they can use them for like pretend play when they're playing like kitchen and stuff, which they play like all day long. So that's why I grabbed these. I think these are going to look so cute in the playroom. So the first one says, hey boo, and then it has a pink ghost. And then the other one is pink all over and then it has white ghost. Super cute. Next are some plates and napkins. So the napkins are disposable. I always grab disposable like napkins and party plates just so we can have like a little family party, just us. I always try to make the holidays super special so I always grab stuff like this whenever I can. So these come in a 16 count. I'm not sure how much they were, I'm not seeing a price. But they do say Happy Halloween and that has a spider web, some spiders, an owl, a skull, a cat, the moon. Super cute. And then I have a ton of plates to share with you guys. So these are appetizer plates, so they're pretty small, but they were just too cute to pass up. So I got the skeleton ones, so it just has a skeleton hand. These are the Threshold brand, so I got two of those. Two of the cat ones, two of the pumpkin ones, and then it has a crow on top of the pumpkin. Last two plates are some platter plates, so they're really big. You can see them next to my head for reference. So I grabbed two of the same. They say eat, drink, and be scary. I thought these were super cute. I'll put like cookies, whatever it is that I bake. I always like to bake things for the holidays just to make it extra special for my kids because they get to help me in the kitchen, all of that stuff. So that is everything for this haul. I will have another haul coming up on my channel for the girls' Boo Baskets. If you don't know what Boo Baskets are, they're basically Halloween themed baskets. You can put like candy in it, um, socks, just a bunch of like Halloween goodies and treats. I always make those for my girls. And this year, since we have Jade, I'll be making three Boo Baskets. So that will probably be my next video that I'll be working on. So that is everything for this haul. Now let's go ahead and jump into decorating the house for the Halloween season. The most wonderful time of the year. I totally forgot to show you guys this sign too. So I bought this to put by the front door. So it's a little like stop sign. So one side says trick or treater stop here. And then when you turn it around, I believe like the pumpkin shows like a frowny face or something like that. And then it says, sorry, out of candy, something like that. So this was 40 bucks. This was also from Target, the Hide and Eek Boutique. So now I'm going to go ahead and decorate inside the house. I'm not going to work on outside yet because like I said, we need to get some more decorations for outside. So I'm only going to decorate the inside of the house today. Okay, so I just pulled these two bins out of the garage. They both have... Halloween decorations, so like pumpkins, skeletons, I have another throw blanket, um, some like cobwebs. This is just all of my Halloween decorations from previous years, so I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating inside the house. So I kept it really simple for the entryway. As you guys saw, we have um, Finn and he was already trying to go for the cobwebs. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. Hopefully he doesn't pull it down. If he does, I'm gonna have to just scratch the whole cobweb idea. But I'm gonna leave it like this for now. I cannot find my bats anywhere. Last year I did bats all around this mirror and I love that look. So I wanna do this again this year, but I cannot find them. So I'm gonna have to just order some again. I got them off of Amazon last year and I'll order them again this year. And then once those come in, I will put those up.
Okay guys, I think my house is decorated at least for now I think there's a few more things that I want to pick up from the store if I can find them I feel like I just need a little bit more than what I have But I got kiddos that are hungry over here, so I gotta go feed them So I'm gonna walk you through the house really quickly show you guys everything that I did I am like so so sweaty from decorating our AC is out this week and we live in the desert so we're just trying to keep cool so I apologize for the fans that you guys probably hear in the background but I'll try to make this quick that way you guys don't have to deal with that too long so here is what the living room looks like above the fireplace I just put pumpkins everywhere I love the way it turned out and then I put this little Hey Boo garland that has a little ghost right there. I added some spiderweb to the fireplace. And then the couch, I added these ghost pillows. I added one on the left side, one on the right side. And then I ended up putting this bat pillow here. We'll see how Finn does with it if he like starts to bite it all crazy. I'll just end up putting that one on my bed because I really love that one. And then I swapped out the throw blanket that we had over here and I added the pumpkin one. And then to the table, I brought out these placemats for the girls that I picked up at Target for the Hide and Eek Boutique. And then in the middle of the table, I added this tray that I got from Ross a couple years back. I added this black cauldron. I filled it with um, pumpkins. I might change that because I've seen a lot of TikToks of people like putting like fake bubbles in their cauldron and stuff and I love that look so I might end up doing that if I don't get too busy in the next couple of weeks because Jade's first birthday is coming up so I just have a lot going on right now so I added a bunch of pumpkins everywhere I added this pumpkin candle and then this little ghost that I got at Target last year I believe and then we have Mr. Bones over here chilling at our table this is our entryway table so just added that black um, plant, the little pumpkin dish. I'll probably just throw like our car keys in here and stuff. And then some more pumpkins, the skull with the candle. I need to buy some batteries that way I can have it running because it goes off a timer, I believe. Then what did you do in the playroom, Rory? <laughs> the playroom's kind of crazy too. I let the girls just go crazy in here while I was decorating. Ooh, you got a little ghost towel? Cute. What else? And then I did this. Ooh, is that another Halloween towel? Yes, I will show you. Okay. Ghost Ooh, on. I love it. And what's inside your kitchen? I see something in there. Mm -hmm. And then I put it back, okay? <gasps> you added pumpkins and a spider web? Mm -hmm. Ooh, spooky. And then in the girls' room, I just added the Halloween throw blanket. A Halloween pillow this little bat ghost garland that matches really well in their room and then over here I added some Halloween books we have more than this but we have a little bookshelf in the playroom now so most of the books are over there because we've been reading them I added this little garland that we used at my Halloween baby shower for Jade so just wrapped it around their bookshelf a little white pumpkin here the little pumpkin candle with a spider web and then I just tried my best to put spider webs all over their bookshelf for their dresser I just added some pumpkin headbands for them to wear and then just this little pink pumpkin alright guys well that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my little Halloween goodies and decorating with me I'm super happy with how it turned out I think I'm going to buy just a little bit more especially for outside we definitely want to decorate our house this year it's like our second year in our house and we didn't get to decorate last year because it was just super crazy because we were preparing for this little baby's arrival huh <laughs> Huh, a little Halloween baby? <laughs> but anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Man Family and make sure you hit that bell that way you guys always get notified every single time we upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!